Welcome to our liquid syllabus session. The first step to making a connection and reducing student anxiety. I would like to introduce myself. I'm Kim Carter, faculty member from Conestoga College and my colleagues. I'm Lisa Coster. I'm also a faculty member at Conestoga College. I'm Marie Rutherford and I'm faculty at Georgian College. When we started to think about the challenges around online and remote delivery with our learners, and considering that some of our remote learners may not have chosen this, we started to think about the challenges of engaging them. We thought they all have distractions around, such as working. They may have multiple family members working and learning from home, social aspects, you know, just not having the structure for attending physical classes. And maybe they would feel disengaged from other students and that they are alone. And they may be afraid to ask for help. So one of the solutions we came up with was the liquid syllabus. If you'd like to join our liquid syllabus, you can follow the bit.ly link, http semicolon slash slash bit.ly slash test 2020. As you see our liquid syllabus load, you'll see it's very similar to what we sent out to our students, but we've created one for you, participants of our session. You'll see our welcome videos, you'll see an overview of the session, and you'll also see the outcomes for the session in the same way our students would see the learning outcomes for their course. We want to ask you to participate. Please add into the answer garden the challenges you anticipated before the semester started in engaging your online and remote learners. You might be asking, what is a liquid syllabus? Well, it's an accessible public web-based version of a traditional syllabus. In our case, we've used Google Sites. It includes course information in a friendly and welcoming way. And it also includes a welcome video from our the instructor, similar to what we've provided here. And it's also written in student-centered language. Some of the benefits of the liquid syllabus as discussed in the video that we've attached on our site uh, by Michelle Pekansky Brock is that it's a web page that's available for all students. It's public and it's responsive based on to whatever device they choose to use. For instance, it could be on a computer, a tablet, or a mobile device. And this is especially important because we know many students are using mobile devices when in their learning. And because it's a uh, web page and we send it out before the beginning of the class, it helps a student to learn about their faculty member, learn about the course in a very friendly way, and it helps reduce the anxiety that they might feel about starting school. And this is especially important now because of COVID. Many of our students are not, they did not sign up for online courses or remote courses. And so they're, they're very anxious about this learning in this new method. So anything that can provide a, a level of comfort to them is, um, is really important. I wanted to share with you as an educator, feedback as we know is so important. Feedback to our students and feedback from our students also improves our professional practice. So embedded within our syllabi, we included a survey, an anonymous survey where students could answer a variety of different questions that related to their review of the liquid syllabus. We asked them, what do you think? So you'll see on the screen now populated with a variety of comments that our students provided to us anonymously, just letting us know what they thought. Most received the liquid syllabus in a very positive manner. Some had constructive feedback, do this, add that. So it was an opportunity for us to reflect and consider what we need to put in it. Going forward, after the course had begun for a few weeks, we surveyed the same group of students and asked, did you find the information in the liquid syllabus help to prepare you for your first day of class? And again, the feedback was quite positive and quite reinforcing. One of the benefits of using a Google site is the analytics that it can provide. Not only was I able to see that students were accessing the liquid syllabus from the day that I sent it out, which was a week before my class started, but I can also see other things like how they were accessing it, what web browsers they were using. And you can see on, on the left side, one of the, one of the web browsers was actually from a mobile phone. And, and the other on the right side, you can see that um, almost 
accessed it through a mobile phone. So having a responsive uh, liquid syllabus is very important because we know that quite often static documents don't show up as well on mobile phones. Plus it also allows us to see that students might be accessing our course using a mobile phone because maybe they don't have a computer or a tablet. So it's important to get this kind of information. And knowing this allowed me for my very first, uh, the beginning of my semester survey, I asked them what they will be accessing the course through. And that affects how I um, develop my activities and my lessons. Another thing that allowed, uh, was really interesting was the fact that 22% of them access the web welcome page, or I called it a welcome page, um, through our learning management system. So even though they had all the information on the learning management system about the course, they still felt a, a need to go and look at the welcome page. And also I could see that students went back more than once to look at it. Now we've shared our thoughts with you. We'd like you to share your thoughts with us. We've got the liquid syllabus open and what we have created is an opportunity using some questions that we've embedded into our syllabi that literally ask you to, to comment on what we have done. It's a great opportunity to reflect and consider how the liquid syllabi may work for you. Going a little bit further down in our document, we've prepared a goodie bag or a takeaway bag for you of a variety of different links that hopefully will help you if you're thinking about getting started with the liquid syllabus. The first thing we've set up are links to the template for the Google Sites, kind of a guided tour of how can I do this, how can I set this up. Then we've also included an article by Michelle Bokensky Brock about the concept around the liquid syllabus. And finally, we've included links to our liquid syllabi. So if you want to have a peek and have a look, please feel free to do so. Thank you.